So last Thursday, the Taiwanese company Foxconn announced that it has officially closed on its purchase of the Lordstown Motors Ohio assembly plant for $230 million. Foxconn then announced on Friday that it would be building the Fisker Pair, or Personal Electric Automotive Revolution EV, at this newly acquired plant. I thought Foxconn was going to be building the endurance pickup truck at the Lordstown plant. Well, it's a big plant. It's 6.2 million square feet. So it appears that Foxconn plans to build both the fully electric endurance pickup truck and the Fisker Pair EV at this plant. So the endurance should start production later this year, and the Fisker Pair should enter production in 2024. Fisker says the Pair will have a price starting below $30,000 before incentives, and Foxconn and Fisker plan to produce 250,000 of these per year when fully ramped. So have we seen the pear before? Is it going to be pear shaped? I don't know why they're calling it the pear. Uh, here's a teaser image. Uh, Henrik Fisker says it will be unlike anything anyone has ever seen on the roads before. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, OK, but I'm still a bit confused about Foxconn. So I get that they so they bought the plant from Lordstown. Is Lordstown still making the endurance pickup truck? So Foxconn not only bought the plant, they also signed a manufacturing agreement. So Foxconn will be building the endurance pickup truck. So the 400 or so Lordstown employees are becoming Foxconn employees. Both companies have formed a joint venture called MIH EV Design LLC, which will co-develop future EVs using Foxconn's MIH or Mobility and Harmony platform. Foxconn is investing $145 million into Lordstown to keep it afloat. Production of the endurance pickup truck is planned for Q3 of this year with delivery starting in Q4. So in the U.S., the endurance will go under the Lordstown brand. Now, it's been a while, uh, but we still have our reservation for the endurance pickup truck, right? Yeah. Um, do you, th do you think we should keep it? I don't know. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. I mean, part of me wants to keep it so that we can show it to you and compare it to all the other pickup trucks we're going to have, because maybe it's going to be a perfectly good truck. Mm -hmm. Although we have heard, you know, about battery fires and other things. So like now I'm, I'm worrying about its quality, but in terms of showing it to you, I think, yes, we should get it. Am I excited that much to get it? Not as much. No. Interesting. It's an interesting move by Foxconn. It's, oh, really smart. It I mean, really cheap. I mean, they bought Lordstown for really cheap. And they, they're they basically buying the factory, which they got cheap, the technology, and the name. It's a really smart move. A lot of Chinese companies do this. Um, they wait till things look really dire for a company, and then they come and swoop in and buy it and use their manufacturing know-how to get it done. So I think it's kind of interesting uh, that, you know, uh, Mike Pence was at that factory. Big American flags, banners all over the up the wazoo, American trucks. Uh, now it gets bought by a Taiwanese company. Uh, I wonder how many people who saw Mike Pence at that event n realize this and uh, care. I mean, it's still going to be an American truck, right? It's American made in made. America. <laughs> so, I mean, you know. Uh, I don't know. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know Clips. You can watch full episodes of Tesla Time News on Tuesdays and in-depth on Fridays. Just click the link down below and head over to the Now You Know channel.